All right, welcome guys. They're playing SCP Secret Files. This is my first playthrough of it. We're gonna jump in and see what it's all about. This one's supposed to be pretty good. This one looks very indie because there's no graphic settings. <laughs> I had to use launch commands to change the resolution. Photosensitivity warning. SCP is a open resource, uh, open like lore about monsters and creatures that are very strange and weird. There's like a whole list of these creatures that have weird like quirks that are dangerous, often very dangerous. Like for example, there's one creature that if you're looking at it, it can't move, but if you blink, it can move a little bit. If it if you blink enough, it'll get you and kill you and eat you. There's lots of like little creatures like that. Uh, dozens of them. There's like a whole like is it Reddit thread I think that has a bunch of the creatures listed. Secure, contain, protect. Yes. I am Carl, Carl Astana. A few months ago. I was preparing my dissertation in a restaurant on L Street. The pies there were rather to my liking. It became st I became startled when the man sitting across from me suddenly shut. I've seen the man there at the two tables. Rest, I said this man. Oh, I get the cheap. Is this a novel? Excuse me. I don't believe I know you. Is there something I can help you with? Not answering my question. Uh, the man can you talk to himself. Well, look, here you are. You're graduating soon. Clearly, you need a job, huh? Well, it just happens I have a job for you. He paused. Mysterious job. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful job. Mysterious and wonderful, huh? Sounds interesting. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. He then handed me a business card. Both sides of the business card were black with three letters printed on each side. SCP. Click envelope to open. Carl Astana. Mr. Carl Astana, congratulations on becoming a member of the SCP Foundation. The foundation has highly valued your knowledge and expertise. I firmly believe you're one we've been searching for. You will assume the position of assistant archivist in the arch archive department group three. Director Chuck Auer will be your superior. Go to security office in sector um, Delta. Or is that Gamma? I can't remember. Uh, to pick up your employee card, look forward to meeting with you, personal department, um, secure, contain, protect. Security office. Sigma. What's in all these cells? The world has been full of unknown things. Due to their existence, the balance of mankind's peaceful life has been upset. However, no matter how advanced our technology, no matter how great our scientific breakthroughs, there will always be anomalies that cannot be explained. We don't know where they come from or what their purpose is. These questions plague mankind and affect our daily lives. It's because of this that oh we founded the SCP Foundation, an organization dedicated to containing anomalous items, individuals, and phenomena. The SCP Foundation is committed to maintaining the normalcy of the world so that people may live free of fear. While ordinary people live in the sunlight, we must fight anomalies in the shadow. We must prevent them from being exposed to the public. The hell? So that people may live in a rational and ordinary world. We secure. We contain. We protect. Game 
Game Zoo Studio. Operating clandestine worldwide, the operation uh, operates beyond jurisdiction, empowered and trust by uh, every major national government. Uh, with the task of obtaining anomalous uh, objects, entities, and phenomena, anomalies pose a significant threat to global security by uh, threatening either physical or psychological harm. Uh, the foundation operates to maintain normalcy so the worldwide civilian population can live and go on with their daily lives without fear, mistrust, or doubt in their personal beliefs, maintain human dependence from extraterrestrial, extra-dimensional, and other extra-normal extra influence. Secure. The foundation secures anomalies within the globe, preventing them from falling in the hands of civilian or rival agencies through extensive observation and surveillance by acting to intercept such anomalies at the earliest opportunity. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Finally. Boom. Full screen graphics. 120. Yes, motion blur. Well, if I have to have it on, I'll have it on high. DLSS quality. High. High, high, high. Resolution gamma. Apply. Just a little bit of gamma. Audio. Apply everything. Oop. Apply, please. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Wait, what? It got super dark. Hold on. That must have messed up the gamma. <laughs> Must have messed up the camera. It's like super dark now. Okay, let me go a little bit lower. Just like 80. Okay, that looks normal. I got my clearance card. Be right back. Enter room 314. A lot of shit in that room. What did I get myself into? Something tells me this place is not so secure. Classified and top secret info. Ooh. Before you start your work, please allow us to introduce you to the software used in the archive development. Each day, your superior will ask you to um, to the task of the mission module, where your new task will blink to remind you. Communication. 
Then the site relies primarily on instant messaging system, information processing using level two encryption. Please pay attention to blinking red reminders and view them promptly. Training is an effective means of information sharing within the foundation. New employees must first participate in new employee training before they begin work. This page shows public information of all sites around the world. You can view information at any time. Well, let's see. All right, how about friends? How the mission go get? Did the information gathering go smoothly? Well, it's damn close to time. Lucky know how to swim. I checked on Simi there. Um. Oh, God, it's going so fast. <laughs> oh, good morning. I, uh, hiya, friends. Good morning. I'm Carl. Carl Stenna coming, Carl. Oh god, no one cares about your double major. <laughs> MIT. It's pretty awesome. Seems that MIT is not popular here. No, it's not like that. That's how you spit leads. These prestigious graduates. Six up, shoots graduates, throws them in the archive department. Have you convenient forgot about Jonathan? Who's Jonathan? Jonathan graduated from Harvard, Stanford, or whatever. Specifics don't matter. You guys watch Rick and Morty last night? <laughs> You proceed graduates are so full, you think you can just beam through everywhere with your glow glowing academic qualifications. You got it coming. The tragedy he went through was inevitable. How dangerous could dealing with paperwork possibly be? Jonathan lost his left hand because he breached protocol and touched SCP-247. What? I don't want to call his details. Can't even eat medium rare steak anymore. We suspect he was a former SCP employee. No one wants to talk about those boring children's cartoons. <laughs> hmm. So is this job tough? Dangerous? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Class Erica must be handled by end by the day. What's my job, Director Hour? Archives Department Review, Organize, Catalog, Modify All Existing Containment Archives. We need to hurry, young man. We need to tell the new employee onboard training first before you begin working the foundation. This will send you a meeting notice. All right. So now for me to work at the Archives Department. I mean, it's not the. This is not what you think. This place is not what you think. You must ban your past self and start again from zero if you hope to learn to survive here. No one will take care of you. you. Must demonstrate your own ability. Okay. New employee on board and training must host it by Doctor Ham this time. You will suffer, Carl. Suggest so you prepare a paper bag of vomit to come. Just messing with you. Doctor Ham is one of the most. Uh, no idea what. You'll be doing, do you? Now move it. 
Remember, Carl, stay sane and always in awe. Of course, sign up for us about to begin. Click to join the training system. Join conference. Jason Carter is a death row inmate. In exchange for clemency, he has agreed to work with the SCP Foundation for 30 days. Upon completion of his work, he will be a free man. He won't survive, Jason will Carter he? is now D-503. this okay Am I playing as someone else? What the D503 hell? D-503 was given no clear instruction of the task to be completed. He must find them out for himself. You can press Q to get off. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Damage petrol tank. Just go around collecting. Junk, I guess. Something tells me there's going to be an anomaly out here that's going to cause trouble. Discarded tire in the sand. After vehicles came the main form of transportation, discarded tires made to grow the numbers. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Just collecting garbage, that's it. Nothing bad will happen at all. 50 kilograms. Uh, Tinder, I'm a damage sign on it. Having once picked has with liquids from leaking scar upon completion of the Move to the incinerator. Okay. We're like in the middle of a desert.
Hold on, labor, confirm, incinerate. Well, that was easy. This was D-503's first day of work. SCP protocol mandates that D-503 now undergo a psychological evaluation. Drag this to fill in the whole square. Uh-oh. Can you rotate? Rotate. see a way to rotate there's no op um so close oh. Uh -huh. oh yeah super smart Did a psych test. Today's work complete. System will now settle the contract time. 29 more days. Must eat. Oh my god, is that a burger? Ah! God damn it! Still delicious. I mean, three second rule. Now we sleep. This was the first day D503 psychological data was collected. You're probably wondering how can this job earn freedom for a death row inmate? Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham from Site 83. Welcome to today's training conference. Today, I'm going to share with you a little project I've been working on called SCP-7457. The desert you saw just now is SCP-7457. D-503 is a volunteer who we invited to help us learn more about this desert. Prior to the Foundation's involvement with SCP-7457, 329 people went missing in this area. As a precaution, we have introduced lockdown measures as we attempt to find the cause of these disappearances. As everyone here is new to the Foundation, it will be good for you to learn about SCP-7457. Let me explain how it works. Before we get started, are there any questions? Dr. Ham, 
I'm Will Barton, 3rd Special Squad, Site 86. Hello, Will. Before I came here, I thought I had a basic understanding of the Foundation. I've heard of these anomalies, but only in terms of human anomalies. I had no idea that SCP-7457 was a desert. How do we begin to make sense of this? That's a good question, Will. All the unexplained phenomena we are monitoring are being labeled anomalies. Human anomalies, regional anomalies, artifact anomalies, and various other phenomena beyond our control. Anime anomalies. The work anomalies. of the Foundation is to isolate these anomalies and prevent the public from, shall we say, experiencing them? Okay, next question. Hello, Dr. Hem. I'm Mark Harris, a research intern from Site-27. In the video, we saw D-503 picking up garbage in the desert. Why did it do that? And what does this have to do with anomalies? Is everyone in this game hot? Okay, Mark. <laughs> what I can tell you now is that this everything is you see novel. is part of SCP-7457. SCP anomalies can be a little difficult to understand at first. Just know that it or they have their own rules. Perhaps you'll understand what I mean once we finish watching the video. Okay, let's move on. Huh. Day 8. The first week was fairly normal. However, there was an interesting occurrence on the 8th day. 8th day? What? Oh, is this gonna get weird? Something weird is gonna happen, isn't it? Let's have a look at what happened. It's nighttime. Seems fairly normal so far. seems all that crazy yet. It's all perfectly normal. As long as I believe that it'll be perfectly fine, it'll be perfectly fine. Absolutely nothing wrong at all. Broken air conditioner, 45 pounds. SCPs are all real. This is a real organization that, the reason you don't see them in real life is because the organization takes them and quarantines them. Black spindle, a spindle of thick black cable that's wound too tightly to see what's inside. Much everything looks and nobody knows why. It takes a lot of effort to carry. Uh, that looked a little weird. Hmm. Something's a little sus.
Start test. Please select three pictures with a triangle. Boom. Boom. Bam. Please continue. Select three pictures that the calculation results are equal to five. Boom. Boom. Um, oh god, the other ones require math math. Uh, uh, Five, 15 times 5 would be 50 plus that'd be 75 so no um, 87 83 minus that'd be 6 no uh, 5 plus 5 plus 5 would be 15 divided by 3 is no no I was kidding I was kidding that would be 15 plus, uh, that one. There we go. I was kidding. It was a joke. 22. No burger? Damn, no burger. I live night, for the burger. D503's psychological data showed abnormal fluctuations. Analysis tells us that D503 is dreaming. Unfortunately, though, we have no way of knowing what he dreamed of that night. The Roman Empire. Panda Express. Is that a telephone booth? SCP-7457's impact on D-503. Are there any questions before we go on? Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm Spencer Jones from the Special Operations Department of Site-21. Hello, Spencer. It's still unclear as to why D-503 needs to pick up all of this trash. If you wanted to monitor his psychological response to SCP-7457, why not just leave him out in the desert? Why assign them these tasks when there are already psychological evaluations taking place? Okay, our analysis has indicated that SCP-7457 produces a new cluster of trash every eight minutes and 37 seconds. If waste collection is not done regularly, all that trash may soon flow into our world. It is worth noting though, that the quantity of waste created here pales in comparison to the amount produced by humans. True. However, it still has the potential to become a significant problem in the future. By assigning these tasks to D-503, we can monitor his reactions while also containing the trash. There is another reason, but we will get to that one later. Is it not the case that the Foundation is exaggerating the importance of a minor issue before the issue is fully understood? Okay, everyone. I must emphasize that behind us is the general public, who are wholly unaware of any of this. Being meticulous and maintaining a serious attitude is essential at the SCP Foundation. Any oversight or underestimation of the enemy may result in disaster. Thank you, Dr. Ham. I understand. Good. 
Let's move on. The effects of SCP-7457 on D-503 became most obvious on day 15 of the test. Due to the conditions that day, we were only able to track his movements after recovering data from his radar. It was definitely a bad day, perhaps the worst, even for a death row inmate. What? D-503 found a radar that perfectly resembled his own. Hmm, World War II type. However, D-503 didn't seem to think much of it. What's it gonna do, though? Does it mimic stuff that it sees? It's another one of those big, giant... Some tentacle thingy. Persistent adverse physiological reactions proved to be a challenge for D503. He still managed to complete his work on day 15. Why is it groaning? Why is it groaning? But then he encountered an incident. An incident? A sandstorm. Uh oh. What am I gonna do? D503 walked in the sandstorm for a long time, but he couldn't seem to find his way back. Well, I see the house right there. Just gotta walk to it, right? And everything will be fine. There's no danger. Everything's fine. Everything's great. There's nothing wrong at all. Just gonna walk to the to the building. Nothing's gonna happen. We're just clueless to any danger. No danger at all. Just a quick walk back, so all we need. Uh-oh. Is that me? God, it's made of those cables.
Oh, this is AT&T. With their landlines. That are everywhere. They're here to kill all the cell phones. Call from an unknown voice. <gasps> Approximately 13 hours later, a visibly trembling D-503 returned to Site 8. We immediately performed a psychological evaluation. Major fluctuations can now be observed in the 503's physiological data. The results of the psychological evaluation were so troubling, we had to abort the mission. Uh oh. I'm awake! D-503 was able to break away from the Foundation's control. He has seen the test results of other level D personnel who were analyzed at SCP-7457. That's right. None of the level D personnel at SCP-7457 have ever All I need is my truck. My truck and my freedom and all I need, god damn it. Start a goddamn convoy. game so far humans often believe that their fate is in their own hands <laughs> you that all choices come from their own free will <laughs> free will <laughs> uh. they don't realize that we humans form only a small part of this world out there in the unknown world we are as insignificant as a grain of sand in this vast desert. I can make everyone in chat type Kappa just by saying the word. They're programmed. You're all robots. Kappa, Kappa, Kappa. See? You've been programmed. that
those are spools of people that it keeps consuming. The radar was 31 miles away from the waste treatment facility. All the data we have came from this radar. People entering SCP-7457 will suffer varying degrees of psychological stress within an acute period. It manifests as a range of neurological and mental disorders, as well as severe and unexplained hallucinations. So far, not one participant has left the desert unscathed. The Foundation has tested 31 Level D personnel in an area spanning 2,267 square miles. Our testing continues. When you work for the Foundation, you will face various anomalies. Some can kill you, some may drive you crazy, and some will make you feel that living is worse than death. Let this be very clear. SCP-7457 is just a taste of what you will face in the future. Before joining the Foundation, you were all leaders in your respective fields and industries. Researchers, special forces, FBI agents, national security experts. Well, SCP does not care how smart you are, how accomplished you are. It doesn't matter to them how many doctorates and titles you have. You are no different from helpless ants when confronted with these anomalies. Remember this. It is the most important advice you will receive. Do not take risks. You will die. You are not as special as you think you are. If you encounter an anomaly, put your pride and curiosity aside. Run, because that's the only thing you can do. God won't protect you here. Welcome to the Foundation, rookies. Do we get cake? I'm Dr. Raymond Ham, and this ends the first class of our employee induction program. Do we get welcome cake? I want welcome cake. No? Course completed. Please add your comments. Richard Ham. Uh, what? Richard Ham, was he arranged appropriately? Yes. Lecture was qualified. Oh, he was qualified. The connection was smooth. Oh, the connection was real smooth. Notice the uh, meeting was punctual. Uh, yes. Other supplements? Good. It helped me. Realize that if I don't strictly by the rules. Thank you for your feedback. Hiya, Carl. How did it feel? To be honest, I felt a little uncomfortable. Hey, buddy, don't throw up on the floor. Stop messing with him, Stuart. Carl, that was only the beginning. You gotta learn to get used to it, live with it. Wait a minute, you're telling me that there's gonna be even more scary stuff than that? Oh, no. This was just the beginning, the start, a little taste. It gets much worse. No! No, I thought it was a happy game. Thanks, you feel much better. You're welcome to join us, Coral. The past hour has been torture. I don't know how the others managed to hold on. I messed up during the training session. Jumped off a cliff, fell in the icy water, choked hard. I don't know how I even recall any of this because I have no memory of ever visiting any cliffs or waterfalls, but it was so real. I can taste it in my mouth, the foul taste of river water. But in any case, this is my first day at Foundation. I got to go to the cafeteria to get something to eat. Maybe that make my stomach feel better. 
Ah, food. Now we're talking. Are we going to get any more floor burgers? Friends, Site 13. Abnormal incident occurred in Site 13. All buildings in Site 13 disappeared with no reason. Many corrupt and many corrupted unknown buildings appeared out of nowhere. Part of these buildings were in fire when they appeared. Hours later, the site was back normal. Zero personnel, including Miss Director Missing, disappeared in the incident. SCP and Control are very related. Like you could tell that the devs of Control were very inspired by uh, SCP and how that functions. Got it. What are they sending? Got it. If I'm being assigned to field work again. Something went wrong on Site 74. Personnel from the departments went to provide support. So we need to take on more field work. Stop complaining, Gent. Car, how do you feel now? Ready for a new job. Good. This is your first mission, Carl. Review the archives and organize them according to the requirements. Do not erase the task at hand. Go and finish it. I'll do my best. Good luck, Carl. Just one thing, man, my T boy. Strictly follow the regulations. Do not act your own without authorization. I'm not an idiot. But thanks for the advice. Reminds me of my first mission. Wubba 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 blah 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 blah. What? All right, let's move. Uh, enter the data regarding the investigation reports into the archive system on the right. Met click the red underline. After clicking, the data dragging effect will be activated. Click, drag it to the archive system on the right. Left click to release data. Click to play recordings. <clears throat> I'm Agent Q from the Accident Investigation Department. Containment breach occurred at Pony Station and contact with the Foundation has been lost. Agent Bella Lawrence was given orders to enter Pony Station and retrieve the black box. Following is a transcript of the interview with Bella Lawrence. Oh. The black box. What's in it? Alright, 105. Blood pressure 175 over 110. Experiencing mild convulsions. I administer final emergency medical to help control blood pressure. What's in the box, though? Could there be uh, another boat in the box? Bella. The drugs seem to be taking effect. Go ahead and ask questions. I can't be certain how long she'll stay away from. Where's the black box, Sparrow? Uh, Three days ago, you were tasked with investigating the situation at Site 74, Pony Station. You were assigned to retrieve the black box. Now, out with it. Where is the black box? Huh? Uh, I... I brought it back. I brought the black box back. Don't lie to us. You never brought it back. No, that that's impossible. I remember. I completed my assigned task. I... I swear... Uh. All right, here now. This isn't an interrogation. We're not here to lay blame or point any fingers. Sounds like you are.
Bella, I'm terribly sorry to have to bother you in such a state, but it is critical that we find that black box. We need to know what happened at Pony Station. My... my memory's a mess at the moment. That's fine. We'll take it slowly. Step by step. Why don't we start from the moment you received your mission? Tell us what you remember. I'll try. Can we go back in time and relive it? That night. Currently heading to mission site, Site 74, Pony Station. We'll arrive in about three minutes. Why is it called Pony Station? It's been 48 hours since the Foundation lost contact with Pony Station. SCP-701 experiments there have been ongoing. We have reason to suspect a containment breach. What is my mission? According to Foundation Security Regulation 709S, each site must have a black box placed in a secure area to assist in identifying the cause of an accident, should one occur. Your task is to investigate the situation and retrieve the black box. Black box? Got it. Pony Station. Okay, I've arrived. Curious what we'll find in here. Oh, I... Oh. I'm able to observe the mission site from here, but it doesn't seem like one of the Foundation's secure facility. It is way too dark. I can't see shit. Pony Station, officially known as Site 74, was originally a hydroelectric power station. After it was abandoned, the Foundation repurposed it as one of their sites. Initially, it was used only to contain a few safe-level anomalies. But recently, it's also taken over SCP-701. I don't know all the details. We won't know the truth until you retrieve the black box. Black box? Got it. I'll complete the task as instructed and retrieve the black box. It's pitch black out here. Don't I have a flashlight? Um. Collect. Uh, can't counter. Uh, measuring humes of an area. Calculate the reality bending rate in real time. Reality anchor. Device capable of stabilizing the humes of surrounding areas. Best weapons for combating against reality bending and reducing the psychological damage of an area. Oh. Y blocker. A 6 milliliter injection injector. Uh, Check this blocker to stock neurotransmitters from behaving erratically as a result of unavoidable reality bending. Portal of a black cubed object of this mission. Easy. Okay. It is so dark. I've just entered Pony Station. Retrieve the black box from the lab. Room 705. The elevator. Seventh floor. Sparrow. Must. What's that? Bald Eagle. Can't Eagle. hear you. Damn. This is out of the safe range. I'll place a reality anchor. Oh. Okay. Much better. Okay, that's better. Now let's find that elevator. We can lower it just a smidge. Now that we got a flashlight, we can actually see a little bit. Okay. Yeah, just a reality anchor. What's in here? Hello? Oh! God! Fucking god damn it. Why would that be like that? A Ohio issued 25% coin.
Uh, due to regulation, all personnel on duty sh uh, shall not leave early. Absence from work is strictly prohibited. Pro personnel cannot be on duty due to special expense but shall promptly coordinate with the relevant site director. All personnel shall strictly comply with the prescribed regulations and rules pertaining the access of classified files. All personnel on duty shall firm um, in the inspection form truthfully and correctly. If a situation that cannot be handled independently should arise, personnel must immediately report the incident. And also, chat will type Dan Suss at you. Spare key to room 101 placed in a flower pot in visitor lobby. If, if used, please place it back in its original location. Key 101 required. Right. Storage room. Not under that pot. Uh, setting resource request form. Size, palace, forest, monastery. Don't know what any of that means. All the plans, including the project schedule that follows, have been disrupted. The actors of the whole site is there. They managed to procure a goddamn script from God knows where, and they've taken over my laboratory accordingly. And Dr. Cooper, or whatever his name is, in particular, he puts on airs every time the operation starts as if everyone should listen to him. Who does he think he is? I have to let him know who's the boss around here. SCP-701 is a play about the Hang King, which is an anomalous being from another dimension. The play basically brings him into baseline reality. Oh. SCP is fascinating. It's so cool. It's so cool that all of these creatures are real. They're really out there somewhere being held. Behind this door. Oh, Tyler Cooper's journal. Today I read Dr. George Thompson research log for SCP-701. Could it be true? Has he really been performing comparison experiments on chimpanzees this whole time? What could he have, what could he have planned? Does he not realize what he's up against? Whole thing's turning out to be an ungodly mess. Now abundantly clear why the foundation transferred him out of Pony Station, leaving me to take over his post. He was performing the experiment all wrong. Whole direction of the project was all wrong. SCP-701 holds great potential. I still believe that I will have to adopt a new method of study. Efficient, fast, direct, it all begins tomorrow. Dr. Tyler Cooper. I heard of this guy. A bit of an eccentric and a thrill seeker. Uh-oh. Why does these pipes look so weird? Control the elevator with... Yay, I did it! Oh god, what is happening? This place looks really sus. Do I hear chains? Rats! This is their moment to live. Oh god, that dummy. It's gone. The dummy went over there, what? Rowdy was here, and then it moved over there and walked away. What the fudge? That's creepy. Hmm. 
Hello there. You guys are a pair of dummies. Still dummies. This must be the elevator. To the seventh floor, then. We could go there, but what's in here first? Blood we offered. The hanged king we served. I serve my king with my blood? Blissful suffocation? Sacrifice of sin? What? What's this? Some kind of poem? Oh. Uh, my head. Uh oh. Uh -huh. Must inject. Holy shit. Ooh. I think we're fine. I'm very familiar with cognito hazards. I've been trained to deal with them. But this wasn't anything like that. I couldn't breathe. It was like there was a knot tied around my throat. I was weightless, hanging, gasping. No matter how much I struggled, nothing helped. That does sound terrifying. But perhaps it was just a nightmare, though. Was no nightmare. Mm -hmm. We wake up from nightmares, not from this. Are you kidding me? Floor four? Uh-oh. It's even more than before. Reality anchor. We only have so many of those. We're gonna be in trouble if you run out. I guess I'm taking the stairs. It's locked. I don't like. Excuse. Hello? Is someone there? It's Friday the 13th. You can't scare me. You didn't follow the rules, sir, and I have to complain. Are you taking a piss while reading a di Oh my god. Uh, incomplete script. The chains of fate coil like poisonous snake. It is not only me they seek to entangle, but also you. Guns out. The curse before death is frightening indeed. Pentrico, get this meddler out of my sight. Let me dead men remain speechless. Juicio extends the noose and sh strangles Sertino's neck. Traitor usurper. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Don't show me your invisible dick. What the hell? Not. I did not give you consent. Nasty. Help. Blood, my king. Help. Uh. Incomplete script two. If the lies of monarchy were to be recorded in a book, the archivist would never know a moment's rest and would ev evidently become unburdened with fatigue. Empress Lord Tony is here. What is that you say, my estranged son? Why would he come to see, uh, to see me in the covenant? Go get me my uh, very best dress at once and prepare a glass of poisoned wine. You say, uh, she leaves. Uh, what's that truth? Dice rolls the lies and bears my name, and the martyr under the conspiracy shares my own flesh and blood. Uh oh. Why is it so dark down here? Huh. 
Hello? Someone there? What is that? What am I clomping? Like one this boot? Nato hazard. Could it have something to do with SCP-701? The situation here is much more serious than I expected. Anything over this way? Clomp. 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 Miss Irene Mabel, formerly uh, assistant of Dr. Tyler Cooper. Miss Lisa Mount has been was demoted because of her refusal to carry out the experiment orders given by Dr. Cooper. On the 16th, uh, she was injected with Class A anesthetics and sent away from the site. To fill this role and at the behest of Dr. Cooper himself, site management decided to promote you to the role of senior experimental assistant. Your interview and authorization session will be held today at uh, room 711. Please come prepared from encrypted. Rehearsal script number two, act two, Persona, Gonzalo, Antonio, uh, covered in, act, to cover up the truth, Gonzalo orders the arrest of three men who witnessed the Queen's confession and imprisons the Queen and the Covenant, the convent. Gonzalo then goes to have a secret meeting with Ambassador Algada, warning the Queen's captivity, and Antonio begins to plot his revenge. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, you big dummy. Yeah, we played Lord of the, uh, Lords of the Fallen earlier today. It was really good. Personal script number three. Act three. Zola kills an eyewitness and orders the royal chef to make a stew from his body. With his daughter, Alinda, then placed in a convent. Antonio and his squire into the convent to confront the queen. Uh, she tries to kill Antonio, but he sees through her plan. She is left to suffer the consequences as Antonio and his squire evacuate the monastery. They encounter the imprisoned Alinda. What? Requires round handle. Wait a minute. Is there a round handle around here? Am I missing hashtag content? Incident clipping number one. On December 19th, local time, a mass um, blank incident involving several students in the auditorium of Precinct High took place. The incident escalated into a violent riot on, with the fighting of a mass scale. The incident reportedly took place in the auditorium while uh, Dan Wokage, as all participants in the process of Dan Wokage, this triggered the audience to attack each other, resulting in 13 deaths, 27 casualties, caused the incidents unknown this time. This must be the archive room. Where is that handle? Um, I don't see one. Maybe I can come back. I can definitely climb there. Anything up? Nope. So many files. Projector. It's all very unusual these days. Many people have come to the site, but they haven't registered with the authorities. I've heard that Cooper and his team are rehearsing a script into a play, and that all participants are required to record their daily status. My experiment has to be put on hold because there's no one left to work on it. It's not right. I'll write an email to the minister and inform them of the malpractice going on here. Who's that? Chat would never kill each other? That would suck if all of a sudden chat typed a random emote and then the Dan Knife emote and they all attacked each other. That would be that would be chaos. Lucky that would never happen. Uh-oh. Oh, God. 
Chat stabbing each other. Oh no. Oh no. Got that thingy. E to switch pictures. The hangman's tragedy. Floppy disks. VC VHS. A dagger. Rotate mouse. Oh god. Much. Anything under you? Nope. Tyler Cooper's Journal Two. At first, most of the on-site personnel were apprehensive about participating in this project, but after disturbing uh, some SCP-701 documents to a few volunteers, it became widely circulated. The number of people coming up to sign up suddenly increased. Rather curious how it all happened. And I haven't quite figured out the reason behind it, but it's a welcome news. I'll take it as a good omen. Now I managed to mobilize the entire station to participate every single person. It's my chance to prove myself, and I'm like this doesn't come every day. Why would Dr. Cooper need so many volunteers? Earth is this SCP-701? Do you guys want to hear a horror story about floppy disks? Once on a dark and stormy night in 1995, you have a game to install that takes 20 disks. You pop in the first one here, the ka-chink, and you hear the floppy disk installing, ka-chink, 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 ka-chink. Then, boop, then you have to enter disk two. And then three, and four, and five, and six. You keep going through the list. You finally get to disc 20. It starts to install. And then it says, cannot read disc. The installation failed! Ah! Finally, luck is on my side. Is it though? This ought to get me to the seventh floor. Well, that's all locked off. Too soon. That was a real horror story that happened to me several times. Rehearsal notice. The Hang King's tragedy. Sacrifice everything. Rehearsal notice. Rehearsal May 20th, 7.58. Second group rehearsal, 11.11. Final group performance, 9 o'clock. Rehearsal notice? Rehearsal notice. Hmm. Let's see. I get to floor seven. We're almost there. Never mind. What the hell is going on here? Fourth floor again. Fourth floor again? Wait a minute. Fifth floor. Okay. Okay. Sick. What is this? Hmm. The way out of here might have something to do with these clocks. heard a ding it's either means that ding fries are done or four floor four why do I hear the emote Dan chat you hear that
Didn't I come in from there? Yeah. Complete clock puzzle in SCP-701 uh, story. That was a puzzle, okay. The liberal use of the word puzzle, but okay. Eighth floor. All right, let's see what is in here. Oh God, that's the alarm. Okay. Be out of anchor. I heard Dan chat again. Sorry. I had chicken nuggets, I'm sorry. Wire cutter is a horror game's favorite tool. Nothing can hurt you. Okay, let's continue. The situation there was much worse than expected. Much worse. I knew I had to get in touch with the Foundation. Uh, I managed to find a phone, and I called her back up. <coughs> this is Sparrow, 09868, for Bald Eagle. I'm at Pony Station on the seventh floor. The situation here is much worse than expected. I need backup. Bella, are you sure this is actually what happened? What? What do you mean? Yes, of course I'm sure. Come on, Bella. Try and focus. What are you talking about? Bella, you never made that phone call. What? I, of course I... What? I... Pony Station was completely cut off. There was no contact with the outside world whatsoever. A phone call? That would have been impossible. No, I... But... But... I saw... What did you see? Tell us what you saw. <laughs> I saw whatever the fuck that was. Ah, bring it, bring it, bring it. Run, 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 run. Damn it, you dummy. Hurry. Tapping A. So goddamn hard. Fuck. Oh, never said anything about that. 
This is great. Everything is just fine. There is absolutely nothing bad about this situation <laughs> at all. Everything is great. It's all going according to plan. Uh, scripts have been sent out. Uh, SCP-701 scripts have been sent out for a week and now just been to, at minor rehearsals. Scribe Bub, but one thing seems to baffle me. This, they always seem to recite the wrong lines. Every single person, it's strange. Almost like it's orchestrated. And when I try to correct them, they become defensive. So it's that they read the correct line. But other than that minor hiccup, everything else went well. I'm very much looking forward to the first full rehearsal in room 705 the next day after next. At the full rehearsal, all will bear witness to the potential of SCP-701. My name will become synonymous with it. Tyler Cooper, genius behind the experiment, who managed to tap its potential, endless potential, it's history in the making. Seems a little eager. What in the hell is happening in there? Looks like something bad happened here. You think? You think? No shit. She just now comes to that conclusion. We're evacuating. Damn it. After the show. Everyone went crazy. Some hacked themselves. Some killed each other like beasts. And that damn evil white monster. This was all destined to happen when it brought in that script. Everything that happened here is all Cooper's fault. It's their fault! This will be the last recording from the experiment. The hydropower plant will shut down forever. And no doubt my experiment will also... Ah! Uh. <laughs> ah! Uh. That was the wrong scream, sir. Or was it? Someone was pressing Q. <laughs> Experiment report, object class unclassified. Uh, description, experiment was a multi-object projectile including SCP, three SCPs. Uh, the experiment primarily focused on researching the process of reality distortion led by Dr. George Thompson. The project lasted for duration of five days. During the first few days, two Rorschach tests were connected on SCP blank, SCP blank. At level three, hypnosis experiment all conducted on level three D personnel influenced by SCP blank. Then a short period of time, the experimental subjects revealed varying degrees of a immersion state and on the fourth day claimed being in a primary forest the trees here are mainly sequoia and pinus carabia on the same day the human level of the surrounding environment was decreased to 37 on the fifth day the described scene began to invade reality causing the original experiment site and six experimental subjects to go missing the project was forced to be suspended no further investigation based reports concerning this area. Dr. Thompson believed the experiment was primarily influenced by the reality distortion effects of SCP Blank and thus considered its creation SCP Blank 1 uncoded officially. The detailed experiment record found internal document um, encrypted. Huh. Electricity needed. Let's turn the power back on. Must be this way. Um, what's that sound? Ugh. Internet clipping six. On April 27th, local time, five students were involved in a collective blank incident at the Cleveland Institute of um, Arts Drama Club in Ohio and another uh, faculty member died of stab wounds. Janitor has taken into was taken into custody as a suspect in the incident. The statement mentioned that the four students used the blank from the ceiling during her rehearsals, that this was then repeatedly the last remaining person after they assaulted the teacher. The teacher died two hours later. Following a forensic investigation of the scene, it was determined that the janitor had no clear motive for committing the crime. He is currently undergoing further observation in a psychiatric hospital. 
Seems like this SCP has something to do with, like, plays. Like it attaches to strips or something. What? Personal script number four. Godzilla obtains poison from Ambassador Elgata and plans to hold a banquet. The poison administers. Later on, Gonzalo is faced to contend with his consequences in a monologue he describes his morse for his crime. But there's nothing he can do about it now. Antonia, Alinda, and the squire escape from the convent. Antonia promise, promises Alinda that he will exact his revenge and marry her as the new queen. Got real quiet over here. Um... How do I get the power back on? Electricity needed. You got your sweater, it's so comfy. Well, mate, yeah, this, I got mine too uh, yesterday, and it's a real comfy sweater. They did a good job with the fabric. get the power back on. Am I missing something? Uh... Is there... Is there a switch? Is there a switch somewhere to restore power that I missed? Wait, there, I see a switch there. Is that the switch? Yeah. There we go. Re restored power. Uh, to all personnel of Pony Station, Research SCP-701 will officially begin tomorrow in order to prevent the dissemination of classical information. All video surveillance equipment has been removed and all external signal transmissions have been Accordingly blocked, the site will be kept under closed loop management procedures until the uh, conclude the site closed them until the conclusion of the research experiment. At present, the experiment is still in need of more participants. All willing participants can find Ms. Irene Mabel in the archives room on the fourth floor to, to fill in necessary paperwork from system. All the dummies from earlier are gone. Oh. Where did, where, where did you go? Just left? Okay. Just not there anymore, huh? Okay. It's fine. They're, they're not gone. I can still see chat. That's mean, okay? That is cruel. Chat is not full of dummies. Lord something. So many mannequins down here. Same. Same. Oh, this is one of our last anchors. We have one, that's our last anchor. We only have one more injector as well. Personal script number five. Banquet Antonio Bursin and confirms Gonzalo's murderous crimes as well as his own lineage. 
Gonzalo is exposed by an angry group of ministers. Instead of killing Gonzalo, Antonio accelerates him to the convent. Antonio then orders the squire to plan a wedding with Alinda, and the play ends with a dance by a group of courtiers. I don't like the sound that thing makes. Wait a minute, if I, can I knock them over if I get near them? They're all going down. Wait, they get back up after I look away. I just gotta finish the schedule. I'll try to get it done tonight. Oh, um, this is where the play was done. Take this. Black box for Pony Stage from Port and Dad inside. SDY uh, 2 encrypted by Technology Department. We decrypted on other sites. Right. Now we just leave with it. What's that? Handmade doll, a well-constructed handmade doll with the tag SCP-049. Ooh, 049, it's kind of cute. Ah! You got me. So it started holding the black box. Bella, we really need you to tell us the truth here. What do you mean? I'm telling you the truth. I completed my task. I retrieved the black box from Pony Station. Looks like the cognito hazards really did a number on her. What are you talking about? I'm fine. Bella. There was no black box in sight when we found you. That's impossible. I'm positive. I, I know I had it in the escape elevator. And there is no escape elevator in Pony Station. What? Not what you're saying adds up. <laughs> That's impossible. That it's just impossible. Look at me, Bella. Try and focus. What really happened? What really happened? Bella, think carefully. I, I, I. Rewind. What really happened? What really happened in here? Uh, thank you for the five dollar tip from Charles Cookie. Says, wonder if you might predict something so that when the, when the stream becomes a replay future Halloween, we can see if past Dan was correct. Uh, Elder Scrolls Six is is gonna be amazing. Uh, Fallout Five gonna be the best one yet. 
Um, I will have a full set of hair in a few years. Um, Grand Theft Auto 6 was great. Really good. Like that one part where that one thing happened and it was super epic and we're all like, whoa! That was really good. Oh god, oh god, no! Sir? What attack when no sword is wise to run? Shut up, game! I know that. It moves so fast, though. station will have to be locked down. That much is for certain. Okay. Somehow we did that. Tyler Cooper's journal number four. Rehearsals have officially begun. Positively brilliant. My hands are shaking now as I write. This experiment. The exciting avenues ahead. Although some sections stray from the original SCP-706-701 and is more like SCP-69. Uh, everyone remained perfectly in character, wholly consumed and in the act. The audience, too, seemed to be entirely absorbed in the performance. Strange thing, though. I noticed a certain something, a person, perhaps appeared on the stage. He was not a, uh, one of our original members, but, well, he was quiet and reserved, rather friendly. Tribute to Ambassador Algada. That is, it must be the truth. The splendid, magnificent truth. Hang the traitors. One in one. Hang the betrayal and the ignorance, together with the noose, hang them all to alert the world. Cheers and cheers all around for our great king. Let us bask in this glory. Together we follow him. The blood of the fools we offer to thee, hanged man. The writing that follows obscured by bloodstains. So SCP-701 is a script. One performance and now all of Pony Station is ruined. Dr. Cooper, what have you done? Uh... So they all just murdered each other. Great. It's the Americans again. Are you wearing costumes for horror month? Yes. But Not the whole month though. Where have all those volunteers gone? Found all the scripts in, in SCP-701 story, but it says seven out of eight. Act one. Uh, the king of Trinco passes pass away. His king's brother Gonzalo sees him as the new king. Coronation drunken queen confesses that she coll colluded with Gonzalo to kill the old king and hang his body from a tree. Queen goes on to confess that the great nobleman Antonio is in fact the son of the old king and as, and as such has a legitimate claim to the throne. Antonio scoffs at this, but upon returning to the end, he meets the ghost of the old king and confirms everything the queen has said. Blood we offered, the hangman we served, I serve with my king, my blood, blissful suffocation, sacrifice of sin. What? You know, there is an SCP in chat. It's an emote SCP. It's Dan C.
Nothing. Oh, there's a bunch of dead... Oh, there's all the people. They're all hanged in this room. P701, the Hanged King's tragedy. What? No. I serve my king with my blood. What the fuck? What the fuck is I hear Dan chat again. Oh, hell yeah. Oh wait, no, never mind. That's that's a different I I didn't see the knife. <laughs> Sacrifice his head and seek redemption with his blood. Kill him! Kill him! A despicable user who starts to have a glorious crown. What the f hell is going on? It's the goddamn cognito hazard again. I need to leave right now. Get out of here. So close to the exit. Bam. Face it. Happening. This is a mind fuck of a story. Serve my king. With my blood, I 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 serve my king. Pressing is so hard. Her condition is unstable. I've just injected her with a sedative, but you need to let her rest for a while. 
Thanks, Doctor. Well, let's go then. What? We haven't found the black box yet. You still don't get it, do you? Get what? What do you mean? A black box is merely a vehicle for recording the truth. But a black box isn't always a black box. You mean... That's right. She is now the black box. Got time for a cold one? Because our work here is done. What? I serve my king with my blood. Blissful, Blissful suffocation. suffocation. Sacrifice, Sacrifice of, of sin. sin. The black box has been properly contained at Site 105 and pending further investigation. Above is the full record of the inquiry. Huh. Submit. Um, click the red underline. After clicking the data, drag and effect be activated to drag the archive system on the right. Submit. Perfect. How's first mission, Carl? Big piece of first, but I, I got over it. I was a big piece of first, but I got it good. I I have to admit, you're no worse than I expected. How about a taco night for celebration? <gasps> taco night. So. Are we really using a living being as a tool to contain anomalous subjects? Hey, MIT boy. I have, I've, I've seen great many field agents. They are prepared to sacrifice themselves any time in order to complete a task. Secure, contain, protect. For them, it's a creed worth paying the ultimate price for. And our duty is to record all of this truthfully and honestly so that people may remember them forever. Relax, I'm just curious. Anyway. You complete your first mission smoothly, we should celebrate. How about we type Dan hype and chat? And we go for a drink. Old place, count me in. Awesome, let's get drunk. Hey, how about a taco night? Or a donut night? Stuart wants food. Dreadleaf Fire, thank you for uh, ordering some Hormuth merch. Appreciate that. <laughs> it's like a t-shirt. Congrats. Thank you. Uh, celebrate the first ever completion of the archive mission. My colleagues threw a small party. It all started to grow on me. My colleagues in this place, I really started to enjoy all of it. Maybe it was the drinking. I dreamt I, I was lost in a strange cave. It was dark and damp and smelled of decay. And in the depths of the darkness, I saw at times two red dots monitoring me every move. What a strange dream. Tequila is too strong of a drink. I need an espresso to sober me up. I'm sure that's nothing evil. That's just a dream. It's just a dream. That'll never come up again. The red dots, that was just a dream and nothing more. Hmm. Uh, a regular clay pot with a height of 20 centimeters. All right, welcome back, guys. Now we're doing one called an earthen womb. Skin flap harvested from left thigh of cadaver. Skin graft. Earthen womb safely stored in a standard safe deposit box. Provided its mouth remains covered with inert plastic. 
Perspect disc sealed with tamper proof tape. <laughs> What a weird. What a weird creature. Hmm. That's about a safe. SCP one forty three. Amendum. Just doing my data entry. Uh, Coke Zero, a can of Diet Coke packaging in English, Cheetos, small bag of Cheeto snack packaging in English, Blackjack, caffeinated chewing gum, Yin Yin, Pepsi Dragon Twist, Dark Side Cola, what? Log of items appeared during testing phase 8. The 800 yen entered into each item. Items being sent every two minutes. Coke Zero. Diet Ghost. Lemon Clams. Unknown. Small mesh bag. Multicolored pyramids. Aluminum box. Huh. Okay. And that one. So it's five minutes to four o'clock now. Just about ready. Uh, again, you're not coming. Nah. Doesn't suit me. Guys, are you forgetting someone? Hi, Carl. We're going to attend the monthly lecture. Monthly lecture? Each month, Foundation invites someone famous to hold a lecture. Share new knowledge or insights made in SCP. For this month's so lecture, they invite Dr. Trevor. He holds a high reputation within the Foundation. Interesting. Count me in. I'll send you the link. All right. Let's see. The lecture... Caffeinated Turtle, thank you for that resub. Panda, uh, Patrick, Arama, Matarzian, uh, Dusim, thank you for the subs, guys. Appreciate that. There are many stories in this world. Ooh. Some are read widely all over the world. Some are hidden in dust and known only by a handful of people. Today I'm going to tell you a story no one else has heard before. Ooh. A real story of mystery and wonder and adventure. Is it a happy story? And then you too will become the guardian of this story. The story takes place in a world of long ago. The hero of our story is a little boy. His name is Daniel. Daniel and the dragon. One day, out of nowhere, Daniel got a serious case of chicken pox. Oh, no. It made him look like a strawberry. <laughs> to make sure he didn't spread it to others, Mrs. Page, the principal, had him isolate in an attic. And so, in the attic he lived, all on his own. That's sad. Mr. Daniel, while up here in this attic, you'll have plenty of time to practice your penny whistle. My what? I hope you'll practice well and prepare for next month's art festival. But Mrs. Page, the melody is so difficult. Don't give up, boy. You don't give up before you fight. Daniel was reluctant at first, but he trusted Mrs. Page, and he knew he should listen. And so he practiced the penny whistle. Is that a recorder that we had in school? 
Oh my, oh no. This is horror. Suddenly, he heard some strange noises in the corner of the attic. Huh? Who's there? Daniel decided to go over and take a look. Bia, bia. Oh, wow. We're in the draw. Oh, that's cool. That is adorable. It was a mouse trap, and there was a red origami paper dragon inside of it. <sighs> Daniel carefully removed it. It was marvelous and beautiful. The only problem was part of its wing was damaged. But Daniel found a way to repair it. Tape. Uh... Okay. Plus sign. <laughs> Daniel held the repaired paper dragon high, high up in the air, imagining that it soared over all the world below. Is this still SCP? Yes. Yes, it is. This is the safe game. I promise. We had a dramatic he change. He played and played with the paper dragon. afternoon sun, Daniel had to fight his eyelids just to keep them open. Is it, could it be? Or is this all just a dream? The next day, with boredom and loneliness weighing him down, he began to fiddle with the old radio. Is beautiful. A scrunched up ball of paper rolled over to his feet. Where did this paper ball come from? Just as Daniel went to pick it up, the ball suddenly came to life, and it rolled away. Daniel chased after it. You don't, don't do that. That's a bad idea. Come here, hey, come here. Come here. Come here, little piece of shit. Come here. Get over here. Just as he was about to seize the rolling paper ball, suddenly, terrible sparks erupted from it. Before his very eyes, the paper ball began to grow bigger and bigger. At that moment, a red figure suddenly appeared. The red figure quickly subdued the paper ball and threw it into a cardboard box. Daniel studied the red figure carefully. What the hell? It had a sticker on its fluttering wing. It was the paper dragon. No way. I wasn't dreaming. Thank you for saving me. Daniel was grateful and very happy. He walked closer to the paper dragon, but the paper dragon seemed timid and afraid and backed away. 
Just then, Daniel had an idea. He took out his penny whistle and slowly played a tune. Oh, dear God. Oh, no. What happens if I fail the entire thing? play an awful, awful song. Get one point. The dragon got very angry and ripped Daniel's face off. The paper dragon enjoyed the sound very much. What? It began to move along with the rhythm, flipping up and down in the air. <laughs> Soon the two were playing and dancing, just like old friends. Yeah. Right. Sure. Choices matter. The paper dragon traced out a beautiful arc in the air, communicating with Daniel in a unique way. changed back into the shape of a paper dragon and flew into the cardboard box. The box closed shut and a calm silence was restored to the attic. Daniel rushed to find a watercolor pen and marked the box with excitement in his fingertips. Here be nudes. Dragons, sorry, dragons. Over the next few days, the paper dragon came out often to play with Daniel. During this time, Daniel introduced many of his friends to the paper dragon. That cat's name Kitty is Mrs. Cat. Carter. Ever since I secretly fed her some fish for dinner, we've been good friends. Cats are like that. That's Duke. This is Jessica's <laughs> pet. Oh. He doesn't like rainy days. <laughs> or Mrs. Carter. Only smoke sausages for his taste. And now, we are friends too. My name is Daniel. What's your name? The paper dragon flapped its wings as if it didn't understand him. so much, why don't I just call you Penny? I'll keep practicing to make it sound better. Daniel and Penny then played baseball together in the attic. Let's play cat. Oh, we're playing, I'm playing catch. You gotta throw it or no? I'm getting so dizzy.
but just as they were in the middle of enjoying themselves, a violent shaking suddenly rose from the ground. Wait, what? Kitty! The stubborn earthquake is back at it, folks, and it seems even stronger than last time. At this moment, the box suddenly shot open, and thick clouds of smoke billowed out, followed by several paper balls. Penny attacked the paper balls without a moment's hesitation and promptly threw them back into the box. Penny then flew around in front of Daniel and rushed right back into the box. As the box closed, the earthquake stopped. Facing a friend's farewell without a formal goodbye, Daniel felt confused and lost. He moved the box to the center of the attic Facing it, he practiced his penny whistle, day in and day out. <laughs> As the days went by, Daniel's playing became smoother. One day, the box suddenly began to move. there were four paper dragons. But they weren't alone. Enemies began to jump out of the box, too. new tactics. They point together into a single monstrous ball of paper. It began to shoot strong bursts of electric sparks at the paper dragons as they flew through the air. As they were hit, the paper dragons fell from the air, one after the other. Seeing the injured paper dragons, Daniel felt very distressed and anxious. Just then, one of the paper dragons painfully started to fly and gathered the remainder of its power. The paper dragon transformed into a great beam of light and dove straight down to pierce through the monstrous paper ball. And then came another paper dragon. The monstrous paper ball was blasted to bits, exploding into smaller paper balls. Trembling, they struggled to escape back into the box. The sacrificed paper dragons were reduced to swirling shreds of paper, and a silence pervaded. Peace and tranquility were restored once again to the attic. Daniel saw the remaining two paper dragons lying on the floor, badly wounded. He rushed to grab some stickers and treated them at once. Such a strange story. <laughs> It's good though. It just it just came so suddenly out of the blue. Suddenly, countless paper dragons began to gush from the box. The two wounded paper dragons were repaired and began to fly. Like two colored threads, they merged with the other dragons, flying in unison. The dragons moved like a tide flying freely through the attic. Daniel eagerly took out his penny whistle. He showed all his paper dragon friends the results of his hard work and practice.
Blow that pipe! Yeah! Play that beautiful music. The first two SCPs were horror ones. This one seems like a benevolent one. Yes, this is still the SCP game. The first two SCP stories were horror. But this one is just randomly not. In the sweet melody of his playing, Daniel felt himself enter into the world of dragons. This is the same game we were playing. <laughs> Bunny! Real dragon. What happened to the game we were playing before? This is the game we were playing before. It's the same game. <laughs> I promise. The paper dragons merged into a long letter and floated down towards Daniel to tell their story. After the last war, the fantasy world enjoyed a long spell of peace and stability. But now, the giants have returned. They have launched ferocious attacks, trying to invade your world through the room. We are prepared to launch the final defense. Then we will have to destroy your room. For it is the last remaining entryway into your world. Please believe this farewell will only be temporary. We will not be apart forever. And we will never forget our eternal mission of protecting you. At that moment, the paper dragons flew back into the box. Daniel still couldn't fully understand what the paper dragons had meant, but he had a vague feeling in his heart that he may never see his new friends again. Aww. A few days later, Daniel's chicken pox had fully recovered. Hmm. He could now play the penny whistle very, very well. But... The paper dragons never returned. Pack up my shit. Maybe it was time to leave and move on. Then, countless paper dragons shot from the cardboard box. However, it seemed like they were under attack, spinning and falling through the air in confusion. What's happening? Daniel quickly grabbed the stickers out from his bag and did his best to heal the injured paper dragons. Uh-oh. I'm helping! I'm helping!
I'm helping! Field medic! Dragons are dying. I got you, dragon. Oh, God. So many balls. But the paper balls swarm together and push Daniel away, subduing him firmly in the corner. He couldn't move. Suddenly, ominous clouds rose from the box, and a violent lightning flashed through the room. The figure of a giant slowly emerged from the thick clouds, and the entire attic became overwhelmed with its evil aura. its power maniacally. The paper dragons struggled against it with no means of fighting back. At this critical moment, two paper dragons shined brilliantly. Together, they heroically crashed their bodies into the giant. Daniel thought the giant had been defeated by the paper dragons, but soon he found that things would probably not be so simple. The giant's figure could still be seen in the thick smoke, looking evil and terrible. The attacks of the paper dragons had had no effect, and the giant had only grown stronger. It fought back with a new ferocity, Paper dragons were simply no match for it. What drugs did they give this kid? With the paper dragons now all but defeated, Daniel spotted a frail figure in the distance. It was Penny. It flew gently in front of Daniel and affectionately rubbed its head against his fingers, as if this whole crisis had never happened. Daniel felt like Penny was trying to tell him something, but he didn't quite understand what. Penny then left Daniel and soared into the air with a determination in its wings. Suddenly, the other paper dragons seemed to be summoned flew through the air, all together in unison, responding to the call without an ounce of hesitation. At that moment, Penny turned into a great red beam and rushed fast towards the giant. The other dragons followed, shining together like a shooting star. At that moment, Daniel seemed to see a real dragon flying. Bang! A huge explosion from the impact drowned out everything else in the attic. The attic rained down with countless pieces of paper, the leftover scraps of the paper dragons. Daniel wanted to collect all of the pieces. He thought he could still fix them. So they turn into confetti. Are there any more dragons? This is an epic visual novel, but my only complaint about it is it doesn't really fit the horror theme of the previous stories. <laughs> it's really well crafted though.
just seems like in a weird place in this game. <laughs> you know? uh, can't find any more pieces. Yeah, all these SCPs that you're hearing stories about are all real entities that are well documented. I saw it on Reddit, so it has to be true. Later, the art festival was well, that's held. That's an RTS scheduled. fest. So I was Daniel like, oh. attended the show with his penny whistle. And now, Daniel Trevor will perform a penny whistle solo of a song titled "Fly with Me." Fly with me. Let's fly. Let's fly away. I'm not pressing the buttons, they have no effect on the story. I shall see if I can get a certain number. Too many, damn it. Damn it. Too many. Protecting us somewhere in this world, just like they promised they would forever into eternity. Ah! <laughs> There's your jump scare. <laughs> Dragon Soar. Me too. What happened to those cute little ones? Awesome, but they're being contained now? SCP-1762 uh, now contained at Reliquary Research Institute, where Dr. Daniel, supervising director. Carver box has remained silent. Wait, Dr. Daniel? Oh, he's the kid in the story. Oh. How do you know all this, Gent? I thought you didn't uh, attend the monthly lecture. I 
Under the direction of Dr. Trevor, Gent spent two years researching SCP-1762. He knows far more than we do. Wow. Tilda. Hey, I told you all that particular SCP didn't suit me. Uh, come on, Gent. But really, imagine you tidying up files and piles of cute little fairy books. It's kind of adorable. Now, everybody, I'm getting back to work. I'm going to stress the point again. That particular SCP did not suit me. Been here for a month now, and I'm entirely adjusted to the job. Though the content work is to simply process archive files. It's a work that will never bore me. A few absurd jokes aside, most of the archives are really fascinating. I've been able, I've been having hallucinations lately. I feel like someone's calling me, a, a voice low and uncertain. They seem to be trying to communicate with me, but I can't understand a single word they say. In fact, I had planned on seeing a doctor, but Zoe told me it was a typical rookie syndrome. It'd clear up in a few days. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it'll get better, I'm sure. Yorkshire, England. Antique perfume bottle. England. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> this game has been very, very well crafted. That last story was made incredibly well kind of felt a weird like side tangent from the horror stuff we were going through at the beginning but it was still very well as very well made story safe friends what happened boss There is a temporary archive that needs to be sorted. The others in the field you have to take over. Am I temporary archive? Am I qualified enough? Mission is an emergency, Carl. It is beyond your current level, but your recent performance proven that you have the ability to accomplish it. I understand, Director Hour. Remember, stay sane and always in awe. All right, get to it then. Con Consciousness Intrusion Operation uh, SCP-239. Operation executed on uh, March 26, 2019. On that night, the reporting large of the content. Do you want to read further? Registration form. Consciousness which plant. Oh. <clears throat> D6744. Please provide your identification code according to the mission letter. Four and twenty blackbirds. Uh, tell me, Doc, when was the last time this rag on my head was washed? D-6744, according to the 7th edition of the Security Regulation Amendment, you must first provide your identification code. Otherwise, you will be executed. All right, all right. Four and 20 blackbirds baked in a pie. You're a real fan of these formalities. Everything's got to be right by the book with you. Oh, God. Fuck. Mike Donald, Consciousness Intrusion Expert, former leader of MTF UP2, codename Spider. Now, level D personnel, number 6744. Enough of these damn formalities. Just what the hell you want me to do? D6744, do you know about the Witch Plan? I've heard the name, that's all. Which plan? The plan is under the direct command of O5. Which plan, Every though? The last detail of the plan is protected by the strictest confidential terms. So what? D6744. 
What you're about to witness is top secret information of the Foundation. The hell is going on? A few hours ago, something went wrong with the Witch Clan experiment. The energy of the human anomaly, SCP-239, is out of control and has begun diffusing outward, disintegrating everything it touches. You guys seriously never cease to amaze me. SCP-239 is now a ticking time bomb. She could go off at any moment. D-6744, I need you to enter the consciousness of SCP-239 to stop this bomb from exploding. The neural key is fully charged and ready to uh, enter up, the target up, consciousness uh, space. Just... Begin the program. What? Consciousness uh, what, begins happening? to link. Uh, D6744, we don't have much time. Three, fuck, fuck, wait. Two, what are you talking about? Sir, what? It's playing with your blocks there. That's cool. You like Twains? I like Twains too. They're cool. Little rocky chair. That's cool. Can you hear me? Son of a bitch! Fuck you! The oh. situation is urgent. If you were still the way you used to be, you would have done the same. What? Uh, hello there? Uh, hey, wait! Did her D6744. Head... Did she say what hungry? A little girl, but she ran away when she saw me. That little girl is SCP-239. What else have you discovered? There's a cake. Sorry. I'm sorry. Help. Help me. The girl's consciousness is severely damaged. That probably explains her total loss of energy control. Then how should we proceed? What does that do? I'll have to enter her preconscious. If there's a solution to this, it's gonna be in there. Good. D-6744. You really are the right person for this mission. D-6744, I must remind you, SCP-239 is no ordinary girl. She is uniquely dangerous. Do not forget. Yeah, I got it. I'm dangerous too, don't forget. Yeah. I could beat up a little girl if I needed to. I got this. Beast voltage room. Eternal blood science. Zeus brainstorm whisper. But there's a price. Holy mother of. Okay. Oh god. Uh oh. Can't see shit. Attacked is wiser. Of course it is. Of course it's wise to run it. So I was running. I 
this. We don't have a flashlight in this part. We will up the gamma a little bit. Okay, try again. Okay, running, running. Don't stop running. Shit! Why does it keep slowing down? Okay, come on. Come on now. No, oh, it keeps stopping. Link all fragments in the correct order. Lines cannot intersect. I'm Dr. Pierce. We are now conducting ability control test number 125 of SCP-239. Okay, let us begin. Let's go. First, set voltage strength to 30 kilovolts. Power on. Why are you doing this to this little girl? SCP-239. Move the target object to the designated location. Ability control test number 125 has failed. The voltage intensity must be insufficient. I'll need a new test site, along with new equipment that can handle a greater voltage load. Uh, are we making Alma? Reminds me of Alma from, yeah, from Fear. What the water sleep? Bird's nest calling D sixty seven forty four. Do you copy? What's up? Copy. The energy of SCP-239 is still diffusing outward. What's your situation? The situation's more complicated than I thought. I'm gonna need more time. Be quick about it. I got it. Quit rushing me. Yeah, give me some time, bro. Have you heard? Heard what? O5 is displeased with the slow progress of Dr. Pierce's experiments. They've appointed a new director to take over the project. You sure it's not just a rumor? Today's morning session was chaired by Dr. Pierce. It's true. Trust me. If I'm being honest, I don't really like Dr. Pierce. Me Something either. Something about him, you know, just gives me the creep. <coughs> He's coming. Stop. Cover your mouth. Those visiting, Dr. Violet Chido, senior researcher, your visit, uh, personal transfer. Personnel transfer. 
That door looks safe to enter. What the hell? Reset parts. Link all fragments in the correct order. Lines can intersect. the preparations for the experiment coming along equipment's been checked everything is ready good anything to be aware of Sam went to the counseling room after yesterday's experiment give him an injection of amnestic agent and let Arthur take his place Fires employee card. Sean's employee card. Site 17 development team. Uh, test record from Dr. Sean Pierce assistant. Fail, 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 fail. Succeed. John's diary displeased the experiment results with gross understatement. David seemed to step on a critical point of success, only to never cross the line. Never ending cycle of anger, frustration, exasperation, excitement. A thousand mixed emotions swirl within me to the point where I am no longer distinguished. I can no longer distinguish one from the other, but do not give up now. Give up now is not an option. I know that much. Successful conclusion of the experiment must be uh, seen throughout the end. Through the end, with failure comes experience. Now I know the main problem lies. Maximum safe voltage printed by the foundation is still too low. To find a way to increase the limit. Resistant agents free. Rest assured I'll nothing to stand up the power of a stream. Voltage. Group photo of Team Black Honey Badger, September 22nd, 1996. See if there's anything else to miss the other one. Oh, well, there's something. Try again. Set voltage strength to 250 kilovolts. Dr. Pierce, the heart rate of SCP-239 has now exceeded 160. Her physiological indicators are quickly approaching their limit. Perhaps we should consider pausing for a while. No! Tian, you. Pressurize. Set to 250 kilovolts. Go. Now. SCP-239. Pay close attention to my instructions. Crush that car in front of you. She did. The meaning of this. Sean Pierce. Why that? Long time, Sean. What's it been? Seven years? I've got no time to play catch up with you. Not a great first impression you're leaving either. Barging into my lab and interfering with my experiments. According to Foundation security regulations, I could have you detained, you know. <laughs> Still the same old tempo. You haven't changed one bit, Sean. Well, if you want to talk business, then let's talk business. You should have a look at this first. This is... No. No. This is O5's mandate. Oui, oui. Effective immediately. Which plan? 
And all SCP-239 experiments will be led by me. No, that's... No! This is a mistake! It's not possible! Don't take it personal, Sean. The simple fact is that the development of SCP-239 is moving too slow. They want a more ambitious approach. A new process, if you She's will. a little girl, though. A new process? What new process? Just what do you know about process? Please, Violet, enlighten me. Sean, let us end our bickering with this. Victory comes to those who fight, and to those who last. Uh, O5 Council of uh, the Foundation trusts Dr. Violet Chodel with the Blueprints Investigator. Effective immediately. Do you copy? Copy, loud and clear. Just what exactly is which plan? That's not your concern. Focus on the mission at hand. I need to know Stop what it is, though. Of energy diffusion released by SCP-239, and do it quick. Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you, uh, Kai, for the kind words. Set parts. Let's see. First try. Director tattoo. The storybooks and toys we ordered have arrived at C3 warehouse. Good. How's the containment room remodeling coming along? The bed and daily necessities are all in place. The demolition of the ARB potential development plan will be completed next. Good and good. Now, how about the formal meeting with our little princess? Um... Violet's employee car? I don't know what they're trying to do other than, like, try to control her, I guess. And turn her into a weapon, maybe? Against other SCPs? Hello there! Hello there, uh, Hold on a second! I'm not gonna hurt you! God damn it! When you feel scared, just close your eyes. Imagine something beautiful, and those terrible things will disappear. Who? Who are you? My name is Violet Tattoo. You can just call me Violet. I will take care of you from now on. No one will hurt you ever again. You liar. All right, that's it for today's bedtime story. Hi. We'll have a little test tomorrow. You need your rest. I'm afraid. S sleep. Nightmares. SCP-239, are you afraid of having nightmares again? Yes. Afraid. That bear. <laughs> just remember what Derp. When you feel scared, just close your eyes. Imagine your little friends in the stories all running out of their box to come play with you. Then you won't be afraid. Get some sleep now. Remember to imagine those beautiful images. Look like. This is like to ask other animals. 
I missed a turtle. Happening, I have no idea. This game took a hard left turn at the setting of the dragon part. It's hunting. The pulls back and whispers. There should be beautiful spotted curtains to block out the harsh sun. Robin shakes his head again. The giraffe speak from way up high. The house should have a high roof. Should hang from the ceiling. The robin flaps its wings and flies away. <laughs> the hippos let out a loud yawn. How should be built in a No, wa watch out, Birdie. So we can bathe anytime and sleep anytime. The robin shakes off the water droplets and flies away. Control Robin Flight. Oh god, it's Flappy Bird. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Let's just now just randomly throw in Flappy Bird. Why not? Uh, the first two stories were very horror esque, and then. The second two have not been really horror at all. Mostly just storytelling. Dragon story was really good, yes. It flies and flies, and finally it lands on the back This story of so far has been very random. The rhinoceros says, Everyone travels with all sorts of strange questions inside, but after traveling far and long enough, the answer that everyone finds is that the truth is not far, for it lays within our very hearts. Robin, what kind of home do you want? The robin says, the home I want is... SCP-239, what are you doing? What's going on here? What's happening? SCP-239, we have to work and rest according to plan. But I... Alex, clear up the mess. At once, Director. SCP-239, this is all for your own good. You must be obedient and complete tomorrow's test. After that, I'll give you a gift. A gift? A gift? All right. Back to sleep now. A Let's present? Is Containment Breach a good one? SCP Containment Breach. I haven't played that one either. The, 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 the presentation is next week. 
I'll see to it, Director. What shall we do with these creations of SCP-239? Destroy them. She really made the birds and stuff. So I'm just thinking that she did them. One more piece. Uh, hey, you there? D6744 calling Bird's Nest. D6744 calling Bird's Nest. The hell are these guys up to? Director Tattoo. The experimental site has been fully prepared. The report may begin at any time. Excellent. If today's experiment goes smoothly, I will have full control over which plan. Go. Which plan, Check though? To be sure that everything is in place. There can be no omissions. At once, Director. But which plan? Pilot, I've got to have a word with you. Just one quick moment. Dr. Pierce, as you can see, I'm very busy at the moment. We'll be presenting which plan's progress to the O5 Council shortly. Right, yes, that's just it. Listen, SCP-239's abilities are greater than you could ever imagine. She is infinitely more powerful now than when she was born. Your experimental procedures lack the proper controls. Any mistake, no matter how minuscule, could have irreversible consequences. Dr. Pierce, let us not forget that it was your previous missteps that caused us to miss the ideal incubation period for SCP-239. If we don't cultivate her using my method, the window of opportunity will be closed for good. But listen, if you go about it using your method, you will repeat the accident that happened seven years ago. You do remember, don't you? Heisenberg, Freeman, Claire? Enough, Sean. Not Heisenberg. Don't you dare bring up their names. Sean. The progress of civilization has always come with sacrifices. You don't get one without the other. To have the chance to harness the abilities of SCP-239, no price is too great. Violet, you are playing with fire. Dr. Pierce, it's time. I suggest you go to the first floor to get front row seats to civilization's next leap of progress. Violet, listen to me! It goes Violet. horribly wrong. She didn't want to listen to reason. Uh, which plan for a long time? Oh. Uh, for a long time now, no. Uh. Make it come to live. Good, SCP-239. Very well done. All right, let's continue with part two. Now we need to give the Robin a home. A home? Yes, a home. Just like in the storybook. The Robin needs a tree to call home. So let's give him a big tree. Robin, home. Not the tree. Everyone, no need to panic. This is all 
What kind of a tree is that? Happened. Stop it, SCP-239. That's an order. Stop now. You are not nice, you, you lady. God damn it. I hope Why she kills you. Sean? Sean? Sean, the backup door outside. Help me open it. Come on, quick. Violet, I told you you were playing with fire. Cut the bullshit and let me out. She's lost her mind. What are you doing? Open it. Open the damn thing. No. No, Violet. I can't. What? What do you mean? SCP-239 is out of control. Why would I open the gate? What the fuck are you saying? Open it. No. Nope. You're right, Violet. No help. Victory comes to those who fight. No help. And to those who last. You're talking crazy, Sean. This is not that! No Open help. the fucking thing! An accident of this magnitude! It's just what I need to prove myself. Sean! Sean, don't think like that! We can work together! We'll do it your way! Oh, your now way she way wants to play work together. Oh. Uh, we'll do... I see. I I'll quit! I'll resign! Yeah. Which plan is all yours? Which plan, though? I will use these learnings to improve the plan and equipment. I've never been so certain of success. No, Sean. Let's not think like that. Let's talk things through. You have proven invaluable, Violet. You will not die in vain. No, Sean, no. No, 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 you fuck. You fucking Sean. I quit. Sean, this is... Bye, lady. Uh, you don't finish the now, just uh, Lemus, the game never ends. Getting out of hand. How much longer? So this is the witch plan, huh? Are we anything more than tools to you? It's not about that. This is about saving the world, 
Either you fix this, or we're all screwed. That's what I'm doing. Then move your ass and do it already. Why are you yeah, so rude? Quitting the foundation was the best damn decision of my life. What the hell? Jeez. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a SCP that has multiple stories. All fragments in the correct order. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, there's a bottom part there. Frank, you kept missing that. I now present to you the ARB Potential Development Device 2.0. This device is capable of not only better stimulating the potential of abnormal objects but can also automatically turn on the respective electric field control, so long as the abnormal objects exceed the preset amplitude. This will ensure that the experiment is foolproof, with zero chance of runaway. The tragedy of Directed Tau 2 cannot be repeated. We must learn from our mistakes. We must not forget the enormous power of SCP-239. And we must treat security as a top priority. Otherwise, all of this will be for nothing. Do not forget the credence we live by. Secure, contain, protect. This SCP. We must uphold at every turn. But a degree. Oh, oh now we can leave. Sorry. Little girl. Hi, hello. Hi. It's okay. I just want to talk. No. Stay away. What happened? It, it's not your fault. Away. She said stay away. Uh I think she's the devil now. Great. She's not getting any more gifts. All her birthdays are canceled. This is the first experiment of ARB Plan 2.0. SCP-239. We will repeat the previous tests first. Experiment 1. Strength test. Pass rate of 95%. Voltage strength 600 kilovolts. Power on. SCP-239, crush the car in front of you. Anxiety, blues, pain, lost, says, breaks. Pressing E. And again. And again. Now I'll crush all of you with my E button. Put the fragments on the ground back together. 
What fragments? That was a uh, Katamari. Test completed. Pass. Good. Green. We'll now begin the new test. Move. Experiment three. Creation test. Pass rate indeterminate. Voltage strength. 800 kilovolts. Power on. SCP-239. Reassemble this junk into a truck. A real operational truck. Not some fancy replica. Yes. Very well done. Amazing. Ow. I know where the problem is. Do I need to shock you again? No. Ow. God, it's rigged. It's rigged. Our equipment can't handle that much current. Lady, damn it. I'm the one who's in charge of this experiment. 950 kilovolts. No. Do it. She's only eight. I'm not impressed. I was creating trucks out of thin air when I was four. Little sliver. That's rigged. Teddy bear. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Watch it, watch it. Got it. Brain put back together again. Everything's so happy now. Nicely done. Uh, hold on. The outflow of energy of SCP-239 has subsided and is now beginning to dissipate. We have regained control. But just hold on. Again, a job well done. The synapse is now ready to be disconnected. Can you just hold the fuck on and listen for a damn change? What's the matter? The problem hasn't yet been solved. She's still lost deep in her mental anguish. That's not our concern. The crisis has been averted. Innumerable lives have been saved. I hate this Your person. Mission is complete. My mission's not complete until she is stable. Compassion in times of desperation leads only to the destruction of yourself. Three minutes. You owe me that much. For all this, you owe me. I can enter her subconscious and fix this. Three minutes. Very well. I'll disconnect the synapse in three minutes. If you're not back, then so be it. I will show no compassion. Three minutes. Oh. Smash it! Okay, must go. Got three minutes. Must fix years of mental anguish. A body badger has entered the value anomaly area. Now quickly approaching. Found the 
idiotic fool who broke and sent to delivery room two. Oh, okay. Uh. Nope. Nailed it. to move on their own. Scared me so badly. Ah. Excellent. Operation Witch Hunt commence. Oh my fudge and geez. Okay, uh burp, 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 burp. Nailed it! Lovely princess with beautiful blue eyes. This is the ore room? SCP-239, SCP-239, SCP-239. Don't blame yourself. None of this is your fault. Maybe you weren't meant for this world. Christmas? My is squishy all over, with shiny warm lights and no more cold steel. Filled all the way with beautiful star stickers and colorful lights everywhere, everywhere. Yay! Everywhere I go, they twinkle, twinkle like little eyes. So many good books. Christmas with is a happy time. Animals inside. They only say nice things to me. They always want to chat uh -oh, with me. Uh-oh, that hill. Uh-oh. So many beautiful decorations. The soft the dragon. Bed, the mountains of toys. I can play all day, anywhere I want. I'll have my favorite toy. A beautiful carousel. I'll ride and ride, and it will take me anywhere. There. I will not be yelled at. I will not be punished. I can sing as much as I like. I hope... I hope... I hope so much to live here forever. My home. Saguro's is home. Deep breath. 
Just some minor side effects from the forced disconnection. She's not coming back. What? In the end, she chose to shut off her subconscious. She'll sleep forever, like a plant. Maybe that's for the best. Anyways, our primary concern is the incident report. It'll require some brainstorming. Not my concern. I'll arrange for someone to take you back. See you on the next mission. Hmm. Not in this lifetime. Uh-oh. She went inside his brain. Ooh. Yeah, so at the end there, she put her subconscious into his brain, giving him her powers. So that way she could escape. Well done, young man. Thank you, Director Hour. What, with the reality story anomaly classified as Keter, it uh, seemed keeping the subject in the state of comatose the only viable solution. That's the place not what I thought it was. Still learn to understand and abide by the rouge. When I handed this task to you, I was frankly wor rather worried uh, whether you'd be able to complete it. Seems you you are ready. What do you mean? Carl, someone wants to talk to you. Hello, Carl. Who are you? Doesn't matter who I am. Let's just call me Chat. What matters is who are you? Carl's just a, a name, a symbol. I'm the one who will guide you to the answers. What should I do? First, you need to complete some warm-up exercises. Take the elevator to the 15th floor. 15th floor? Go to the elevator. Let's go to the 15th floor. Every horror game, the main character always wears, like, concrete boots. I swear, every one of them. Multigrain toast. Healthy eating, live well. Uh, don't bake bread in the lounge. Don't you feel nauseated yet? 0426. Patient types, dose, current, Sophie, Sebastian. I don't know what that means. Okay. There is an access card on the desk. Take it and exit through the door on the other side. The passcode is 0426. Find room B426 and run the program on the computer. 0426. Carl Astana, thank you. Level 3 access. Gave me level 3. What is in here? Hmm. B426. Why are all the cameras in here? Why are the lights flickering?
Okay. Uh, uh, SCP-426. Confidential level 3. Object class Euclid. All non-level staff covered in this manual have had their identities obscured. The events recorded in this manual can be accessed via the digital library. Level 3 authorization required. Uh, use this manual. Use of men is covered by the confidential uh, clause. Any staff found in breach of this clause will have chat all at you and type Dan Sus. Confirm. Yes. <laughs> Four two six safety instructions. Experiment log four two six subject D zero eight one. So subject D eight one named Jason Grias is a twenty eight year old black male in good health with no history of mental illness. Sentenced to life imprisonment for murder, nicknamed Chimney. His psychological condition was normal before he entered site blank. However, he developed uh, negative and pessimistic tendencies while in prison, along with severe symptoms of nicotine addiction. Psycho physical examination records showed that this program will make chat type Dan type because of the key sound. Do not require any physical disabilities. Jaded, skeptical, and exhausted, life and living are tough uh, when being awake, sleep are no longer uh, no longer regular. Only the number of cigarettes left can give me a general sense of time. Only smoking can get me out of bed. Oh my, what the hell? What did they give us something that we won't even have the chance to use? It's like a Minecraft game. Did it even provide a mirror, but I don't need to see my face. One small single bed, but cozy the one in jail. The smoke on the toilet first. the cigarette pack. At least you're still alive. That's right, man. I've been paying attention. You know I can feel your energy. What? Not just yours, but all the lives, the transitions that happen. Making the most of life transitions is a beautiful thing. They exist in abundance here. The fuck are you talking about? They always lead to, com to unknown opportunities where everything is uncertain. I can see the man-made chaos. Sorted by another force that can't be called life. Idiot. Anyway, at least you're still alive. Yeah, what a great ending. D8, D081, time for your task. Let me finish the cigarette. Give me a break. I've always one more, don't I? Can I, can I even smoke anymore? Hurry up. Damn it. I don't know what I was expecting for this next uh, story, but it wasn't this. You never know what the next thing will be in this game. Get ready. Ah, uh, I get it. Security check. What can you take this thing anyways? Weapons don't metal. No smoking in observation room. No smoking? You have something against me, huh? Show his hands. Scanning. This game is very, very, uh... Very, very creative. D081, I can hear you. What do you want me to do this time? 
There's a room on the bottom floor. You'll task it into the room and observe the object on the table. Come back and report your findings once you've completed the observation. Do you understand? Full of fucking freaks. So all I have to do is go and look at something and come back. That's so easy. Can they do something less gross? It's easy as hell. Pay's called Los Angeles at 4 a.m. Interesting. Photo of an opera. These freaks watch opera. Are you kidding me? The, no, yo, Dr. Hello, are you here? Nothing wrong, right? Is that a toaster? It's just a toaster. Look at something and just look at it. It's just a toaster. Oh, there. The guy I need a Zerb is here. What the hell is this? It's just a toaster. Make some toast. If I'll have a cigarette first. Where are my cigarettes? We'll never guess where I hid my cigarettes. Ew. Ah, now they smell like almonds. Ah. Damn, that's good. D081, turn to the lab and report to the doctor. Uh, you can start reporting. While on the table, uh, uh, I'm a, while, well, on the table, I'm a toaster. I'm about seven inch wide and six inches tall and I'm made of stainless steel. Anything else? What else? I'm not sure what else to say. Anything else? I'm not sure what else to say. I'm a toaster. Put bread in my slot. I'll make perfect fucking piece of toast. Good, you go back to your room now. Good, what did I just say? Why is he talking so weird about it, though? Going around here. Hey, Jim, it is something different. You, you smell wonderful on you. What is it? I sense it now. You're going to experience a new life, a different kind of existence. Shit, sounds fucked up, man. You've changed. You're no longer bound by limitations. There's no beginning, no end, only chaos. You shut up? That is this the end of life? I don't know. Maybe you're evolving. Why am I even trying to understand what you're saying? You're feeling different now, right? I do feel strange. I think I'm just tired. Life needs motivation. Maybe you just need a cigarette. Cigarette? No, 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 no. I need a cigarette. I need to charge up. Because I am... I'm a toaster. You plug it in to start working. Wow, I am a toaster. It feels so good. What was I doing? I need to charge. Yeah, yeah, I gotta charge myself up. Put myself in this fucking slot here. Damn, there's no plug. Give me all the cigarettes, with, but no plug? Maybe I can make myself one. Got a piece of club, piece of iron pipe. Figure how to make make a plug. Choose two from four. Uh Good, this is it. I can't wait to charge up. D08 observed 2SP426 closely for about 30 minutes. The question he could only provide a first person description of SCP 426. D081 returned to his cell and began experiencing hallucinations. Believed that he was a fucking toaster. SCP 426. D081 died of electrocution after plugging in. 
a self-made metal object into a socket because he felt that he required charging. Right. Tesla B D08 named Dorothy Wilson is a 65-year-old woman. If you have no history of mental illness, D082 psychological violation were unknown. She entered site. The analysis showed that she's mentally strong resistant interrogation. She's caused several climates to Salmon's commit suicide. Several guards to betray the prison institution. D082 was diagnosed with lymphoma cancer. Of course, she was cleared the foundation. She was cleared for testing after confirmed that her lymphoma cancer would not affect her SCP-426 test. Miss Wilson. Miss Wilson. What happened, dear? I fell asleep. I'm sorry. Perhaps I misheard you were, you were shouting. Oh, how rude of me. When I was yelling every time I fall asleep, I think I'd never wake up again. You were yelling, uh, bread, give me bread. I dreamed about my children. Whenever I think of them, it fills me with regret for what I did. Seven months ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. Oh my god, it's hard to hear that, Miss Wilson. I made a lot of mistakes in my life. Came here of my own free will, you know. I think of this kind of redemption. Oh, sorry, we can't chat anymore. I'll tell you more about my children next time. Mm -hmm. Next turn the stolen access card under the pillow. What? People should take care of how they play. People should take care of how they look even when they're old. I wish everyone thinks like this. D-082, uh, time for your task. Well, hello, young man. Don't look very happy today. What happened? Not going back to empty room for another day, am I? No, I should complain, but it's awfully boring. Don't mind me nagging. You know I don't have much time left. Apparently, she's a super spy that can sneak out access cards and stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Vegas Legacy, for the 25-month resub. That has chat going, Dan Bobble. Prepare for a security check. All right, Scanner, you don't trust me? I feel like you don't want to talk today. Are we gonna turn Granny into a toaster and then she's gonna die? Good morning, Dr. H. D082. You can call me Dottie. You'll be in the innermost room today. The task observed out the table. Come back here for your findings. This one sounds simple enough. Just while well, I thought it might be able to stand too long. What a terrible smell. Why don't they use nice lavender scents? Now, once again, this is the same game. All five of these mini games are all the same game. SCP Secret Files. Room's just next door. Remember to observe? Yes, just observe. Oh, is that my tinnitus flaring up? Or did I just hear something wonderful? Sorry, report. To be honest, I'm not sure this is what you need, dear. Sorry, your report. Well, I'm a toaster, about this wide and high. Oh, and my youngest daughter uses the same model as me. Oh, and I'm teal green. I think I look good in this color. Yes, yes, I like this coat of paint. I think I could still work, um, what else? That's all I can say. Sorry, I'm not observing a lot as I used to be. Good, you can go back to your room now. Thank you, glad to hear that. <laughs> so now... She's a toaster. Great. Miss Wilson, how are you feeling? I don't know. I mean, how do you feel after that task? Oh, I feel not too bad. Yes, I feel I feel like I'm good. That's great, Miss Wilson. To be honest, I was a little worried. I thought, I feel good. I feel great. Yes, wonderful. I have to do something. What do you mean I have to do something? 
Ms. Wilson? Ms. Wilson? You know what? There's been a little voice in my head. I think it's time for me to fulfill my duty. I'm a toaster. Time to get to work. Not enough bread to toast. Found a stolen access card. Oh my god, is that bread? I'm gonna toast the fuck out of that bread. Work, work, bread, bread. Oh, I'm gonna toast the shit out of this bread. You don't even know, chat. I can toast any kind of bread there is. Bread, bread, work. Garbage bread. Yeah, toast that too. Not enough, I can toast more. Bread, bread, work, work. And you can toast more. We're probably the best model ever made. Oh my god. Work, work, more bread, more bread. Toast all the fucking bread. Toast it. Toast it. Toast the bread. She's getting so wide. Oh god. She looks like me. Why does bread take so long to toast? Oh, she chunk. She's damn chunk now. Uh, D082, observe the object closely for blank minutes. Five minutes later, she could only provide a first person description of SCP 426. D082 began to develop hallucinations 50 minutes after returning to her cell. She believed that she was a goddamn toaster, SCP 426, and that she needed to toast bread. She died of internal bleeding due to acute gastric dilation. The autopsy found 16 kilograms of undigested bread in her stomach. <laughs> Jeez. Um, Adam Moria is a 38-year-old white male, no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life president for murder. Psychological evaluation uh, results show that he has irritable, violent, and manic tendencies before entering site remarks. D83 uh, yelled, I'm a toaster. My inside needs to be cleaned. After that, he coming in contact with SCP-426 uh, blank times. Then swallowed 550 milliliters of dishwashing liquid, fell into a coma. It's un uncertain at what time whether the effects of SCP-426 are still active. Observation still underway. Damn it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. All of you. <laughs> D-083, you're awake. Get yourself ready for the lab. What the hell am I doing here? What do you, do you do to me? No one has anything to you. That's convincing. Do you think I'm a fucking idiot? After the task, you drank industrial strength dishwashing liquid. What the hell are you talking about? Don't fuck with me. I'll kick your goddamn ass. D-083, what are you? What? What are you? I'm your fucking grandpa. That's what I am. I'm going to knock out your teeth one by fucking one. D-083, come out of it and get ready for the lab. Uh, why am I dizzy? I don't feel right. It feels like part of my brain is missing. Like I'm... I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I should be a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. Yeah! I am a toaster. <laughs> I'm a toaster. I'm a toaster. What are you? A good toaster. Fuck, my head hurts. Where am I? I should be. Been so confused lately. Hey, 
Hey, you old fucker. What's it after your last task? Are you willing to reabsorb the test object? Listen here, I ain't gonna do shit no more. Come in now, you bastards. Fuck, my head's gonna explode. Shit. Guys, send him back to the room for observation. Yes, doctor. Had enough, you old fucker. Shit, what's wrong with me? I shouldn't be like this. I should be. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I'm a goddamn toaster. Do you have anything to report? Come on, man, I'm broken. Broken, the doctor wants to know how you're feeling. I'm definitely broken. I don't think I can toast any more bread. Bread? Do you have a screwdriver? There's something seriously wrong with me. Do you need me to, do you need to go to the clinic? Open the door, I need to be fixed. Oh my god, bread! I'll try to toast this bread, that way I'll know if, if I'm really broken. Something wrong with me. This is bad, oh no. Uh oh, I must toast you! God damn a toaster! Toast them! D-083, stop everything now. We can kill you now. I'm broken. What are you? I'm not a good baby bear toaster. I can't toast anymore, but yes, I can fix myself. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. Test report. After the previous observation experiment was interrupted, D-083 claimed that he was a baby bear toaster and stuffed, suffered from internal damage. He requests repairs. On the way to clinic, he began aggressively and attacked the guard with a lethal weapon. Cut open his abdomen and claimed there were breadcrumbs jammed inside. Eventually died of excessive bleeding. Huh. Cool. After conducting several tests with level D prisoners... The foundation has determined that SCP-46 causes several severe mental harm to humans. It has henceforth been defined as an info hazard. Thank you for reading the SCP-46 safety manual. Secure, contain, protect. Great. Okay, is this the Matrix now? Leave or stay. The choice is your own. <laughs> it's the goddamn Matrix. Hmm. Show me how deep the rabbit hole goes. Better not be a toaster. Uh oh. Good job, Carl. I'm glad you made it through. Have you ever felt like there were memories in your head of the things you never experienced? Whispers of people you never met? These were not hallucinations, they're your actual memories. Carl, you are not a rookie at all. You are a 
member of Mega Five. What? You always have been. My name is Marion Wheeler, captain of Mega Five. Welcome back, Gardner Carl. Now, we need to talk about 55. 55? I can't drive 55. Uh, of all the games we played, that was definitely one of them. That had some really good stuff in it. Some that was just okay. The little girl one was a little like, eh, it's alright. It definitely very interesting. That was a wild mind... My wild mind fuck of a game. I'm a toaster. I'm a toaster. I'm a toaster. Overall, very good. I like that. Yeah, the little girl one was the weakest one. It was kind of boring. It was long, but the uh, other ones are all really good, really well made. The toaster, the dragon, the first two stories were all both very good. Good stuff. I'm a toaster. Just a toaster. 